find yourself a booth, order up a cold one. This is the Spring Bar. Good morning, Joe from the Spring Bar. I'm going to do a little mini review here of the new Bulova Surveyor models. They were kind enough to send me three. I've had them for a week, and so I'm going to give you some thoughts. So here's the trio that was sent out. We've got the uh, 98B422 here with the sort of a red sunburst dial, gold accents on the dial, gold crown. There is the 96B427, which is the pistachio dial, same kind of sunburst. And then the 9B429, and it's sort of this deep hunter green dial. These are pretty excellent watches. We've got the Miyota uh, 8215-21A with hacking seconds, a white date with black print, 42 hour power reserve. The watches have a display case back so you can kind of see what's going on. It's not a highly finished movement by any means, but it's still a really nice workhorse movement. You're gonna be able to have it serviced all the time. There's, I mean, it's not a, nothing on the rotor so it's not a highly, highly finished movement, but that's also kind of part of the charm because that means you'll be able to have the sucker fixed forever. It won't be a big deal. Signed crown on all of the models. We've got this really high polished bezel that's going on, polished flanks. This interesting sort of case shape, which is reminiscent of what was going on with the Jetstar, and we'll get to that in just a minute. The depth of the dial is kind of stunning. Like the minute track, which is on the outside, has either been laser etched or it's a uh, sandwich construction. The applied tuning fork logo at 12 is really, really nice. And then there's this subtle minute track on this outer rehab. And it's a really well put together piece. It's really, really, really finely finished. The, the flanks of the case have got this nice bevel to it. They're good watches. They wear incredibly well. And so let's talk a little bit about some of the comparisons. Easiest and simplest comparison right off of the bat is to the Jetstar. And the Jetstar, we know, is a very popular watch. It's a fantastic wearing watch. But the subtleties here are, are kind of kind of stark. Right? We've got this minute track that's applied. We've got loom that's on it. We've got you know, a real similar dial, if we're being absolutely honest. The, the color gradation between the two is going to be just stunning. There is a European version of this watch, which I believe is got a blue dial. It's not available domestically. Not bad at all by, by any stretch. Um, the watches wear really, really well. This was a subtle one. You know, it took a minute to get used to. I got them in, was wearing them, been wearing them for the full week, you know, alternating out. And there's a couple of takeaways. This is my favorite. And as soon as we saw that this was going to be coming out, we saw the color of this dial because these were released in January. It's like I thought that this was probably going to be what I like, but in person, it didn't quite impress. And let me explain why. It came on this strap. This is a nice uh, sort of a croc leather embossed strap. It's nice. It's, it's supple. It wears well but it doesn't bring out the subtleties of this watch. This watch needs the brighter. This one needs the bracelet. It just works better for me. This strap goes incredibly well on this watch also. It really brings out the warmth of the dial and of the markers, but this, the bracelet here just brightens the whole thing up. The bracelet is a you know, deployant with a little sign buckle. It's really comfortable. It wears well. We've got the quick change on the bracelet as well as on the strap. And so putting in something different is really, really easy. The next sort of question is looking at these watches and comparing them to say the Citizen Suya or the uh, PRXs. Yeah, you're gonna have some comparison there. Absolutely. Not a bad one either, if, you're, if I'm being absolutely honest. I've seen a few of the different Citizen color variations. And with the Crown at four, it's a little bit more of a sporty watch, I would say. The integrated bracelet gives it kind of that feel. This is a bit more of a dress piece. It's a little more elegant. It's a little more um, utilitarian. But it's also going to be functioning in the same place that you would find, say, the colored dials from this, the Rolex OP line. 
You wouldn't wear it necessarily with everything, although it's it's a subtle pop of color. It works well, you know, it'll fit underneath a, a uh, dress shirt cuff and would work well with a suit as well as work well. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And that's even without trying to go into strap changes. So the other question would be is, okay, well, if you're comparing it to say Rolex, well, right, we're not gonna be comparing Volvo to Rolex. It's just not exactly what you do. The watch has got more of a, an angular shape to the case, you know? It's not the smooth round that you would see on say a day date or a date just, but because I'm a Bulova guy, and we all know this, here's a Super Seville. Essentially, President Day Day, fluted bezel, same bit. And so you can see that like this is a 36, this is 39. And the differences are kind of, kind of stark. I mean, this is a much larger watch. It's gonna wear a little bit larger, but it's still incredibly comfortable. You know, the, the bracelet, the way that the bracelet's done, it's got these brushed outsides and then this polished center link. It's real subtle, but also really elegant. The smooth bezel, I like. I like better than I like the fluted bezel, if I'm being absolutely honest. And I like the way that the loom comes out on the hands. I like, I like the whole watch. I like the package. And I think that if you've got the option to check them out, you will not be disappointed. So, quick little mini review. This is the winner. Doesn't show up on the on this bracelet. You gotta you gotta go find a bracelet for it. That's gonna be the only problem. And if Bulova can make that an option for you, I highly recommend it. You'll have a lot of fun. So there you have it. Recommendation? Yeah, if you like this style of watch or if you're in the market for something that's a little more elegant, a little more dressy, uh, something that you'll be able to show off with, definitely a good buy. Thanks.